At the beginning of this newscast, Victor Williams told us about the uncertainty of college football in the fall. Yeah, but what about college basketball? Jamie Edmonds talked with Michigan State's head women's basketball coach, Susie Merchant, in this edition of Benched. A lot of us are getting acquainted with working from home, but if you're a college basketball coach, that makes it tough for recruiting. Don't play quite the same defense in high school as you have to learn to play in college. Woo, big shot. I had gotten three home visits done. Um, we're on our way to Cleveland, Ohio, when they started shutting everything down the day the NBA shut everything down. So we had to turn around and come home. Um, the university required us to do that. Susie Merchant has led the MSU women's basketball program for 13 seasons. Her record speaks for itself. Her Spartans have finished third or better in the Big Ten eight times. She's gone to the NCAA tournament nine times. But getting a recruit to say yes to MSU virtually, that's something new. For me, that's been the hardest part, Jamie, is not having them on campus at Michigan State. Just because uh, we have an amazing campus and I love selling Michigan State and all it has to offer. So to me, that's the worst part about this recruiting thing is that we haven't been able to get people on campus. It's two turnovers. We messed that up. Merchant and her staff are making the best of the situation with weekly Zoom calls trying to stay connected. The question remains, will there even be a season? I think you have to be able to test and test quickly. Um, where, how do we clean? How do we cleanse? How do we keep things sanitary? I think those are some things. And then how do we quarantine? My biggest concern is what if one of my players comes down with COVID? What do we do? But until they get testing and protocols down, I don't know how how we're going to put people together because you can't social distance in basketball. <laughs> it's just, it's an impossible task. Brunel puts one up just off the back rim. Michigan State will survive. She says she will defer to decision makers while preparing as if there will be a 2020-2021 season. She continues to prepare for the future, and that includes staying in touch with all of the talent here in Metro Detroit. In the meantime, she says she's honing her homeschooling skills with her two boys, Brady and Tyler. I think they want to go back to school. <laughs> I couldn't get them to go to school, and now I think they're ready for school to reopen this summer at this point. But you know what? It's going the best it can go. I'm, I'm really trying to do my best. I get up every morning and you know write out each schedule so they have a list of things they have to do. And I literally sit in the middle of the table and I go back and forth to a third grader and a seventh grader, and we do it. Every morning takes us about two or three hours and then we're done for the rest of the day. But I'm hanging on by a thread right now. We're into our last week. <laughs> Hang on, parents, we got this. Merchant says she's looking at this quarantine as a gift. Usually she wouldn't have all of this time with her family. And so she's grateful for that. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. There are some huge decisions facing universities across the country.